Hey, I know a lot of guys are actually asking about this whole H1 projector, H4 relay business, so I'm just going to try to explain it. Uh, the MSPs originally came with a big old fat H4 bulb, which is a you know dual filament, bu dual filament bulb, and it comes with a very specific connector. There it is right here, this white guy that used to connect to the bulb. Now, also, when you're doing a projector retrofit with uh, Morimoto H1 projectors like I did, it, they are called that way because they're built for an in, in H1 bulb, which is right here, which is a nice and skinny one. So uh, that explains that portion why you need to buy an, an, an H1 kit because only an H1 bulb fits inside the actual you know projectors in the bulb. Now, as far as the relay harness goes, you need to buy the NH4 relay harness because it's already made with an H H4 connector. So that just simplifies things. And then after that, this is how the relay harness works. You get main power right here, which just connects to the battery directly. This connects to one of your vehicle harnesses, you know, the one the bulb used to connect to before. And then after that, it just, you know, this end connects, connects to one of the ballasts. And then the other end connects to one of the other ballasts. And then these small guys are what are actually responsible for actuating your high beams and the projectors themselves. There's a corresponding uh, like plug on the project on the projectors. I'll show you in a minute. So there's that relay thing right here. That's where I have it mounted. It gets power from the battery, from the positive terminal, goes to the relay, and then the relay itself connects to one of your stock stock connectors. So then now what happens when you actually turn your lights on? It gets power from the battery and then your stock harness acts as a trigger for the relay turns the low and the low beam acts as a trigger and just turns the ballasts on and then when you actually want to turn the high beams on the other wire from the stock uh, connector acts as another trigger for the relay and it sends power to one of these guys and that's what we're actually responsible for actuating the solenoid that's inside the projector and what it does, if if like flicks a little flap open inside of it, lets let lets more light out the projector, and that's what gives you the high beam. And that's what actually you don't have to worry about buying an expensive HID kit. You just have to buy a regular a regular cheapo H1 whatever kit. So that's pretty much it. Hopefully that helps.